There we go. We are now awake. It's about half eight in the morning, so we're going to have a bit of breakfast. Then we're going to get going. We're thinking about maybe going and doing Cellside Pike and then Brands Tree. Hoping that it won't be quite as boggy over the top of there, but we've still got to kind of walk that direction a bit, which might be a bit boggy. But I think it's time to get up and get going. There you go, bacon wrap for breakfast. Well, pretty nice view. Here we go. Now it's time to say bye to our home for the night until we meet again at some point. So let's get out here. See you later. So we're going to have a good 1,000 feet of climbing to do this morning. So we'll see how that goes. What an idiot he was complaining about his wet feet and now he's like just gonna get wet feet again. But honestly you could, some people in the book, in the box, they said that they did go for a quick dip and I'm like how are you gonna have a dip but you could definitely sit down in that and it'd be reasonably high on you. Honestly I'm feeling good this morning. I might be a tiny bit hungover but not too bad. I had a decent amount of sleep, I only woke up once at about half five and then I got back to sleep. I've had some food had a bit of water to drink and I feel really good. I'll feel even better when we're on top of Brand's tree and hopefully we'll get a nice view. There you go, you can see how isolated the Bothy is from here. It's just literally in the middle of nowhere, but what a cool little spot. If you've not been to a Bothy before, I definitely recommend going to it. Obviously we had it to ourselves, but from what the book says, you'd have a great time even if other people were there. Right, so that's gonna be the last time we see the Bothy, because we're gonna go around this corner, unless we can maybe see it when we're up there somehow but we might be a bit further back that way. The one thing we don't know is what the weather's gonna be like because it was changing all over the place before we came. It said at one point there were gonna be like 40, 50 mile an hour winds today, but I think that might have changed. So hopefully we don't get that, but there is a few dark clouds coming over the hills behind us. What a lovely little stream just running down the hillside. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't see that, then I was like slipped down into water. But we're looking for a left turn somewhere. So we don't want to carry on all the way along this path because we need to turn up. So we'll need to keep our eyes out for that. So we did come this way to hopefully try to avoid the bog, but it seems like we've pretty quickly got back into the bog, which just surrounds all the areas around here. So there's no avoiding it really. Just started to feel one or two drops of rain. And it has definitely got a bit darker in the sky. So I think we are going to get wet here. Hopefully it's just a bit of drizzle and we don't get absolutely drenched. You can maybe see it now, the rain is definitely coming in a little bit, but at the moment it's not too bad. It's just a bit of drizzle, just a bit of rain in the air. It's definitely picking up a little bit. So it looks at the moment like most of the rain is behind us. We're still just looking for this turn up left. It must be literally any minute and we'll see how steep it is because I don't think we're prepared for a really steep climb but we have got over a thousand feet to climb so it could be fairly steep. That's not a bad view looking down there but we have somehow missed our turn I swear we were looking for it we didn't see anything so we're just going to kind of head up this and hopefully once we're up that will be able to tell where we're going. We have got quite nice views but I'll tell you what it's a bit of a pull up here. <laughs> Calves are definitely feeling it. Definitely a bit windier up here more hill to climb. I don't have any idea how much more we've got to go. We could be absolutely way off. It's a lovely view looking down there though. Tell you what though, this is tiring when you're a bit hungover and my bag's still quite heavy. Calves are burned after coming up there. So it's very windy now and I think we're going all the way in the distance up there, walking into the wind as well, which is definitely making it a bit more tiring. My god it is windy up here. Honestly, this is probably the strongest wind I've ever been in. Off camera then we just had a few gusts which are nearly blowing us over. I didn't realise we have to drop all the way down here to go all the way up it. That is a lot more climbing than I expected. It looks like there might be a stream though so we can get a bit more water. But wow this is going to be a challenge. That is a bit of a climb up there. Honestly the rain Whoa, nearly fell over. The rain is like hurting my face when it blows into my face. It's a lovely spot here, just in the middle of absolutely nowhere. What a nice spot. I'm getting blown over though. So we've got to the bottom and now we've just got 
this huge, well not, it's not that big, like it is a decent size, but it's not, it's not ridiculously bad, but anyway, we've got this pretty big climb up here, which is going to be a struggle. So we're making it across here, than I expected, we're just going nice and slow and steady, little footsteps, and just working our way up. Excited for the view when we get up here though, the wind is back, it's so steep up here, and the wind is just blowing me back down nearly. God, what am I doing to myself really? <laughs> I didn't think this would be that difficult. I thought it'd be a bit of climbing, but I didn't realize it'd be like this. There you go, we've done a fair bit of climbing now. I'm hoping just up there is the top of Cellside Pike, and there's another bit to climb up. Honestly, this wind blowing us back down making it 10 times more difficult. Hopefully this one will be the last bit before we get to the top, but there could be more yet. So we just spent, my hat keeps blowing down so it might look a bit funny, but we just spent at least 10 minutes because the rubbish bag looked like it was going to split open. And in wind like this, that would have been the worst thing possible to happen, especially when we're tired already. So we spent 10 minutes squashing it all down and we squeezed it into Adam's bag, luckily. So at least we don't have to worry about that. It is going to be so wild when we get over the top of here. This is just one of those mountains where every bit you go up, there's one more hill. Go up again, there's one more hill. Hopefully this is the last one. We've definitely climbed away now, like, we're all in that hill in the distance. Right down there. This looks like we're nearly probably at the top. So I'm hoping it's just here. If there's one more hill, oh, that is going to be annoying. Please, let's see the top. This is wild. It keeps blowing my hat down. It is so windy up here. Wow. There we go. We might be at the top now. I'm hoping this is a wind shelter. So I can just be out of the wind for a little bit. This could be the top though. And it's cloudy. <laughs> so hopefully we get a view. Let's get in this and have a look to see if this is the summit or not. There you go, I'm pretty sure that's horse water down there. It is pretty cloudy so you can't see the best. You can still see a little bit but I think we're going to carry on going. I looked at the forecast in Penrith, which is a bit away from here. It showed about 40 mile an hour wind, but in an hour it's going to die down to 20, so. But it could definitely be more than 40 mile an hour here, because it's not there. So let's keep going. On the high house, I think it's called the Kids of Lane, right? But that won't do it anyway. Oh, oh my god! I can literally lean into it pretty much. Right, let's get moving. I've never had it this windy. Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know exactly where we're going. Oh my god. I've never seen it like this. It is so windy. It's maybe more a silly idea to do this walk. But we're here now. I'm going to drop down to go back up again, which is a bit annoying. Honestly.
some sort of egg through an animal. I don't know, I've never seen that before. So we're just uh, just at High House, which isn't a Wainwright. But the final one to do is Brand's Tree, which I think is just in front of us. So a bit of climbing to do on this one. nothing I've ever had before. It's so windy. Oh my god. Calm down for a second but I'm sure it'll be back. Jesus. Definitely not. The sheep just don't seem bothered by it at all. Doesn't affect them one bit, they're just stood there like nothing's going on. Why are struggling like mad? Well, it's a bit sheltered here actually. Maybe not. <laughs> Boy, well, look at that though. Cool little spot. Very boggy around here. There's Adam all the way up, so I don't know how he's got so far behind me. So at least this will be a good memory of it. So there's some sort of marking point here. At least we can use it for a bit of cover. Down there is horse water. You can't see it very well though. Really not the best weather today. But I think all we need to do is go up there. So we can head down. There you go. On a nice day I'm sure you get a cracking view looking down there. But it is wild. I don't know, maybe we were all the way over on that one. I'm not sure if that's sell side or not. I think the top of Brands Show is not too much further. All this wind and trying to stay stood still and going against the wind for so long has tired me out. It has tired me out. My legs are feeling it up here. Last pull though, thank God. A little bit of a rainbow forming over there. Not the best rainbow I've seen though. So my hat started to fly off my head and now I can't really get it back on. I think we need to be over there. But I don't know. We must be a way over somewhere. I've just looked at the map and it seems to say France Street is a bit further this way. So I don't know what them through points are. They look like through points. Not that far. Well, I can't wait to get out this way. The gate swung over by itself. I do not know where the top is. Right. I'm going to try to work on the top is. I don't know. This might be the top. Maybe once it wall, a big thing that's fallen over. I'm surprised all the wind. Hopefully that's the top, because if after all that, we don't even reach the official top. Wow. Miserable day. I can't wait. It's been our face the whole time. At least when we go down, it'll be on our back. Well, we're not getting much of a view off here. I think we've been to the top, so I think we're about to try to find our way down and get out of this wind. Probably the best view we've had all walk looking up to there. I don't know exactly where that is. But we're heading down for that valley. We're going to pick up this track down here. And then it's going to take us. That is the original track we came out on yesterday. That's a pretty good view looking down there. It's a shame we can't see the mountains in the background. You can just see a faint outline of them in the clouds. Thank God we're nearly back onto this track. And then we don't have to worry about any more bugs like these. Tiny bit of sun down there. I think that's a waterfall coming down, you can see in the very distance. Oh wow. There we go, we came down that bit pretty quickly, we just could literally jog down it. Helped a bit by the wind as well. Another little rainbow down there. Can't see it too well, it's pretty much gone already. We're not going down this way, we're gonna turn around and head down here. At least that wind's on our back now, thank God. There we go, two and a half miles, so should be less than an hour. Definitely, maybe 40 minutes or so. It's nice, easy going with the nice view you get looking down the valley once you get up this hill. Whew, wow, you can just about see the end all the way down there. It's just this long walk down this valley, but 10 times more pleasant than what we've just been through up there. So that was insane. It'll turn out it'll be a really nice day in a minute. All clouds will go fully blue sky. I've really just missed the best part of the day. That's just how it is sometimes though. A bit of a windy road down here, but we're literally 
really close to where we came out yesterday. We turned off just down there and went up over that hill to the Bothy. There we go, that's looking back up there. It does look pretty big from here, to be honest. I can't remember exactly what it is. I think it's seven, just over 700 metres, so what's that, like 2,000 and something? I don't know, 2,200 maybe? There we go, that's our outward route. What an adventure. What a good two days, or oh, 24 hours. I do think it's a lovely valley to walk down to finish off the walk, or just the whole trip in general. It's just a lovely valley. Just a shame we couldn't get to that secret waterfall. So we're gonna have to revisit one time to get back there and try and get to it probably sometime next summer when the water's a bit lower. What a miserable day it is at the moment. Still rain, a bit of drizzle, light rain in the air. And there's a bit of wind that's come back. It's not too bad though, only a little bit. We've just got this long walk down here, which it would be a lot more pleasant if the sun were out, but you can't choose the weather, can you? So you can see, we're just gonna follow this outward route all the way down now. So I might as well finish off the video here. Look at the waterfall, getting, like the water's getting blown up the waterfall over there. I don't know if you can see that, but that waterfall over there is literally blowing up. That is crazy. So that's gonna be it for the video. What an adventure that was, both the boffy stay and then also that insane wind and rain we had to deal with. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and a sub. And if you haven't seen the video of us staying in the boffy, click the screen now.